one of the things I really love and I always find it amazing is when I can step back from a design and find simplicity in it. This little side table, the design started out a lot more complicated. I had turned legs and it had a much wider stance. I wasn't really thrilled with it, but by taking the time to just play around with the design in SketchUp, I was able to just boil it down to its essence, just four components. Now it's a beefy table and the joints make it super sturdy. There's no fasteners required to make this. But before we get into this, just a quick reminder, my new online woodworking course, Powered Up, launches September 5th. I designed Powered Up to both challenge your skills and teach you some great new techniques. So if you've got a few projects under your belt and want a new woodworking challenge, you're gonna love Powered Up. For a sneak peek of the new course, go to poweruplaunch.com or click the link down in the description now. There you're gonna get a sneak peek video plans for this router table and a spot on the Powered Up early access list. So again, head over to poweruplaunch.com for the sneak peek and to be first in line when Powered Up goes live on September 5th. Now let's get started on this table. I've got some really old boards that I want to use for this project. These are scraps that were from an old bed frame. These were the slats that the mattress sat on. But I want this table to be thicker. So I'm going to laminate two boards together. I've got a series of them. I think I can laminate them in pairs, maybe three at a time. We'll see. I think I will stick to just gluing up two pairs at once. It seems a little safer that way. I don't want any glue getting in between these. So I'm gonna uh, stick a strip of paper in between them. And with those all glued up, basically what I made was a bunch of two by fours. <laughs> so why wouldn't I use just two by fours to begin with? Well, there's a couple of reasons. The main reason was that I just can't find good two by fours that aren't in some way warped or bowed or bent. And it makes it really hard to try to square those up. Secondly, I think that these are more stable when I've glued two smaller pieces together like this. What I want to do now is square up the uneven edges so that I can joint these together. Before I glue all these up, I'm taking the time to arrange them and select the faces that I like the best so that I can have kind of a featured face. In this case, I'm finding all the pieces that have the most knot holes on. Those are the ones that I want to feature. I always find imperfections more interesting. And I've also got these clamping calls. You've probably seen me use these before. They're just strips of wood that I've got a piece of packing tape on them so that glue doesn't dry. I'm gonna use these to help keep the boards flat. With all four of the pieces cut out, I've set up a stack of dado blades to cut a series of rabbits in each end. There's only gonna be one dado. The single dado needs to be the same distance as the rabbit on this piece. I did a little dry assembly and clamped these up to see if, it, if I could glue all of this up at once and it was just posing too many problems trying to keep it square. So just to be on the safe side, I'll glue one piece in at a time.
Hey guys, I want to take just a moment to talk about the sponsor of this week's video, Wix. You all know how much fun I had working on my website, mymoviemore.com. I liked using Wix so much that I recommended it to Wyatt, who set up a travel blog. He spent a month in Europe, and it was a great way for him to chronicle his adventures in Ireland, Spain, Portugal, and France. Most fun. Ireland. Best meal. France. City. Porto, Portugal. Architecture. Spain. Scenery. France. Weather. Ireland. Ireland? Why do I always imagine it raining in Ireland? Because it always does. They're in a month drought for the summer and that's unusual. Worst hotel. Ireland. <laughs> There's a backstory. Finally, woodworking. France. Hmm. Whether you want to create a personal blog or write about the things you love, or maybe you want to set up a full featured robust e-commerce website, Wix has you covered. The Wix editor is intuitive and easy to use. Just pick out a theme you like and start building your site, but don't feel like you're limited to that. Did you feel limited to that? No. You get total creative freedom to create your own unique, original masterpiece. Share what you love just like me and Wyatt. You can set up a fully functional, professional looking website today free at Wix.com. So you ready to go back? Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this project. I really like this design. It's one of those projects that only came together just after spending a lot of extra time in the design phase. What I originally imagined was far more complicated and less sophisticated than this design. Plus, this is the kind of table that can be used in all kinds of places. I think I'm gonna use it as a bedside table. If you'd like to build one for yourself, I've got free plans. There's a link down in the description. And don't forget to head over to poweredupwatch.com for a sneak peek of my new online woodworking course and free plans for that router table. Thanks for watching, everybody.